You know, I didn't think that uh, Blizzard would actually come out and say anything. I thought they were just going to stick to their guns like they always do and uh, just go forward with the plan they've already created. But they have come out with an announcement recently talking a lot about Overwatch's PvE mode and how it's been canceled. And they apologized to their fan base. So I'm going to read this all out here for you guys so you don't have to. Um, there is a lot of detail that's left out in terms of the actual development of behind the scenes of overwatch so i really recommend you guys check out down in the description and in the comments below the official blog post yourself i just broke it down to the things that we wanted to know about and it's easy to digest and understand and of course so that this video isn't 30 minutes long but to start off the overwatch dev team starts off by saying when we announced overwatch 2 in 2019 the idea for the game was centered around the pvp game we released last october and on the pve side story missions and the hero missions Story missions focused on fast-paced co-op gameplay, as well as stories, cinematics, and cutscenes that expand the world of Overwatch. Story missions tell a linear narrative about the heroes of Overwatch reuniting and battling the new Null Sector threat, pushing the story of Overwatch forward for the first time since our original game released. These missions take place on huge maps with new enemies and cinematics. We'll also begin to release them in Season 6. The work done here is amazing, leaps and bounds above what we've built for PvE previously in our game, and I can't wait for our players to get their hands on them. We'll be sharing more details about this in the coming weeks. Hero missions, or hero mode on the other hand, encompassed an in-development game mode that allowed players to upgrade individual heroes through talent trees, providing a deeply replayable version of PvE in Overwatch 2. And it really was an exciting concept, something that not only resonated with players, but the team was passionate about it and really dedicated to it. This mode is the mode we're no longer moving forward with. Things rarely go as planned in game development. We struggled to find our footing with the hero mission experience early on, scope grew, and we were trying to do too many things at once and we lost focus. The team built some really great things, including hero talents, new enemy units, and early versions of missions but we were never able to bring together all of the elements needed to ship a polished, cohesive experience. We had announced something audacious. Our players had high expectations for it, but we no longer felt that we could deliver it. We needed to make an incredibly difficult decision, one we knew would disappoint our players, the team, and everyone looking forward to the hero missions. Overwatch team understands this deeply. It represented years of work and emotional investment. They are wonderful, incredibly talented people, and truly have a passion for our game and the work they do. We couldn't. And so, we knew that we couldn't go back to pulling people away from the live game in service of that original vision again. So, we made the difficult decision to cut the hero missions and started planning for the future. From there, we needed to update the vision of the game, gain confidence for our new direction, and roll out changes for the team. The decision was the start of a long process, not the final piece of it. This has been hard for us, but as the director on this project, I have to do my best to make the decisions that put the game and the community first, even when those decisions are disappointing. In this case, I had trouble pivoting away from a vision that just wasn't working, and for that, I would like to apologize to our players and to our team. I'm sorry. We are focusing our efforts and our passion into making this game an ever-evolving experience, and we are still committed to building many of the elements we talked about at BlizzCon 2019, including story missions that delve into the next chapter of the Overwatch universe, new types of co-op content we haven't yet shared, and new stories that we're planning to tell both in and out of game. We're excited about this direction, and we can't wait for you all to finally get your experience that we've been building. That is the breakdown of the apology himself from the Overwatch game developer and director over at Blizzard headquarters. This was quite the interesting read and uh, we'll get into a couple of reasons why. It feels bad, of course, to have the dev team feeling a very bad way about this. I mean, imagine working on a project so long, so hard, you're putting all of your time, effort in. I mean, this is these people's lives here, you know, they get paid for this. I'm sure a lot of this was going to be funding for people's homes, families, and lives, for all the developers that are working hard every single day to bring us good content and it all comes crashing down i just wish it didn't come crashing down in the way it did because i'm still a little bit hurt i'm not gonna lie blizzard you know you've really broken the trust that i feel for you since you still went ahead and advertised something that isn't going to work out and you guys kind of knew that from the very beginning it says it right there that not everything goes according to plan but we have to make sure that we you know deliver on the things that we plan especially if we advertise it to a wide variety of players that is just an element of disaster and you are waiting to piss people off when you cancel the main thing that everyone has been waiting for if i'm honest with everybody whenever i saw overwatch 2's announcement i didn't see anything about the story modes i saw a lot of advertising about the hero mode but i never saw anything about a pve content 
that's going to be tied in with a battle pass and that seems like it's something that was created just to help knock the balance off of the whole hero mode being cancelled. It seems like this is now being talked about, but if this was really a plan that was supposed to be there from the get-go, I would have loved to hear more about this, and I would have loved to have heard it as we were going through the process of development with the regular PvP aspect of Overwatch 2, so we could at least have a little bit more information in there. Maybe they did talk about it here and there, but as a player, I never once understood nor heard from that side of things, and didn't even know that was coming until this whole PvE fiasco broke down. So that was just very bad advertising in my opinion, and they shouldn't have gone forward with showcasing a whole hero mode, PvE mode, in the mainstream for all of these streamers to play and then just take it away. They should have just told us somewhere in the middle that things are going rough and it's probably not going to be, and at least now when we've hit the point where they have just solidified the point that they're done developing this game and they can't make it, that we would at least have a cushioned blow effect, that we could at least be a little bit prepared and not mentally invested, because I was sitting here thinking this whole time that we were still going to get a PvE mode. I think it's still reasonably fair to be angry about this. Of course, if you're going to play the game, play the game. If you're not, don't do it. You know, there's plenty of games out there that have a lot more transparency, but it's also good to see Blizzard stepping forward, taking the hit on this one, and apologizing. It's good to see that there's some talking going on. I just wish that that had occurred uh, uh, in the moments of silence that we were all sitting and waiting. But of course, I want to know what you all think down in the comments below. This is going to be my last video for now covering this whole Overwatch situation as I think we are all very done with hearing about this and I think that this whole controversy has kind of reached its peak and its drop point as well. But I hope that you all enjoy the videos to come on this channel. I'll be talking about a lot more topics, sharing some funny gameplay clips here and there on the channel. So please feel free to support and feel free to let me know what you want to see shared on this channel here as well. I'm always open to taking your opportunities and your words and your comments. And I appreciate the support that everyone has been showing the channel. Of course, if you like the video and you want to see more, hit that like and the subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this. Are you going to still be playing Overwatch 2 or are you going to keep it dropped for good or are you going to wait to see what this whole new pve story mode is going to be like i would love to know down in the comments below and without further ado thank you all for watching and peace out